So we've reached day five. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the story about how I sacked somebody on a Friday night and they turned up to work on the Monday morning. Couldn't believe it. Let's get started. It wasn't the first time I'd sacked anybody, but I clearly didn't do a very good job. I'd put it off and I'd put it off and I'd put it off. And then on the Friday, I eventually plucked up the courage to sit down and have a conversation with a team member and basically tell them that their services were no longer required. I obviously didn't do a very good job because as I said, I went home, um, I had a drink over the weekend, I did pizzas and all that sort of stuff. And then to my horror, on the Monday morning, they had turned up to work. So the conversation that I'd had with them was that weak, that feeble, that uh, it had that little clarity that they didn't even realize the conversation that I had had. Now, of course, I dragged it on for another four weeks before I finally plucked up the courage again in order to tell them that their services were no longer required. And in that moment, it was even worse than the first time around because they suddenly realized the conversation we'd had, we'd had four weeks ago. Now, I've got a lot better over the years of having those courageous, those clarity conversations with people, confronting people when I needed to. But I want to share with you three questions that you could use in order to challenge yourself today in order to take some more courageous action. So my first question is, what's the one decision that you are putting off in the vain hope that it will go away? So if there's something that comes to mind, something that's playing on your mind and you're putting it off in order to avoid it in the vain hope that it goes away, Let's just have a think about what action you might choose to take that's just come to mind. And I'll share you a final question, a third question on what you should do next in a moment. My next question, the second question, is what are you pretending not to know? So is there something that's going on in your life at the moment, in your practice at the moment, and you're ignoring it? You're pretending not to know it exists. So for those first two questions, if something comes to mind, what I would like you to think about is what you would do if you was being courageous. So what action would you take if you was being courageous? What's the immediate next step? What's the first thing, the tiny first thing that you would do if you was being courageous in order to resolve that situation? And I know it's very often, it's scary, it's frightening and all the rest of it. But once you've actually done it and delivered the information, you've said what it is that you need to say, whether it be to a team member or a customer, then you will feel a whole lot better for it. So dressed as the Grim Reaper, I know it doesn't look very serious, but it's a serious question, a serious point. What would you do if you was being courageous? And if you need any help or support in taking that decision, I would love to hear from you. Just reach out and I will gladly support you during the process.